I'm glad you got it. That's wild. How did you even pull that shit off? Hi you guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today's video is going to be on DIY-ish jersey framing. Um, I say DIY-ish because this is not a video on like a $20 frame from Ikea or Hobby Lobby or Michaels and if you're looking for that, this is not that video. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to start there just in case, you know, this isn't what you're looking for. Um, but this video is actually on a company that I found and used to frame for jerseys. And I wanted to share this video to be helpful for anybody else possibly considering the company or, um, you know, just looking for a jersey framing solution that looks custom, but isn't $250 to $300. So. If you want to see that, continue watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel. A little bit of a background before we get started. Um, this was my husband's birthday gift. And although the video is definitely centered around showing you guys the frames, I'm actually going to include a little snippet of me giving him this gift. To be honest, I am super proud I was even able to pull this off. And he was really, really surprised. My husband's a big basketball fan and he comes from an athletic family of five boys. They all played sports growing up. Their mom was a PE teacher. His younger brother is an NBA player. Like ball is life, okay? So since we've been dating, right? We're not dating now, but since we started dating, you know, I've always heard him say this thing about how he wants to get framed jerseys, right? Um, like for his man cave one day. And granted, we live in a townhouse currently. We don't have a man cave yet, speaking it into existence. But um, I just kind of wanted to take it upon myself to do something a little different and surprise him with signed jerseys. So I wanted them to be framed. Like I wanted it to look put together. Um, and so after doing some research, calling around for quotes, I kept hearing pretty high numbers for jersey framing. I just wasn't in the position where I wanted to pay that much for this. So I found this option with this company called SF Displays. I'm gonna make sure I like insert a little, you know, um, clip of their website here. But I found this company, you can go online, you can choose the different mats, you can choose the size. Um, I was actually able to call the company as well and ask questions and clarify to make sure I was ordering the right thing, which was helpful. So for his birthday, you guys, I got these jerseys for him. Here you see the frames that come in these really big boxes. So I'm just opening those up. Um, and then I'm also like watching their YouTube video. I'll make sure to link that below, just kind of like a step-by-step -step guide. They do send you instructions in the box, but I found it more helpful to be able to watch them do it online. And the video is pretty helpful. So I'll definitely link that below. And so as you can see here, I'm just cutting the cardboard around the actual jersey. Um, I'm measuring it, drawing lines. Um, you're gonna insert the cardboard cutout into the jersey, which gives the jersey the shape. Um, and with this, you do want a really good cut. As you can see, my first time <laughs> wasn't the best. I started with Jason's jersey and I kept having to like cut around it. Um, I definitely got better with it the more jerseys I did. But that first one was a little bit of a struggle, um, but I definitely, you know, wanted to make it look as nice as it possibly could.
Um, and so after I did that, I pulled out like the velvet mat that comes with it underneath um, and use the pins that they provide to pin the jersey to the mat. So you want it like fully stretched, um, do your best to not get any wrinkles, things like that. Um, and so I'm just doing that here. And then honestly, after that, you know, a few more steps would be making sure there's no lint, you know, cleaning off the glass, doing, you know, those types of things. I didn't necessarily record myself doing those things, but you know, obviously they're all included in the video that they have posted online on how to do this. Um, and so then I just opened up the rest of the frame and kind of positioned it in there. I felt like this was a very, very good option for nice looking frames for a more affordable price than custom framing. Um, obviously you can get even more affordable by going to Hobby Lobby or Michaels um, and just buying some pins and doing all this yourself. But I really liked the custom mats um, that they send you. I really liked basically how they all turned out. Um, in this, you know, first video, I actually didn't get the um, frame yet for Dame's jersey, but I did eventually get it and I have all four of them framed now. And so here, I just wanted to include a little clip of me surprising my husband with his birthday gift. Happy birthday! <laughs> Are you surprised? Ah, <laughs> uh, that is crazy. Crazy. Man, well, I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm the sound one for you. Do you like it? Look. <laughs> Look. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. You didn't curse. I'm not joking. That's wild. How did you even pull that shit off? So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. Um, I love doing videos like this because I always think, you know, just like I went to go looking for this information, maybe this will help somebody else make a decision. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thanks so much for watching.